Hello everybody and welcome back to Pumpkin Days. Well, what we're gonna have oh, cranberry bread today. Lots of different bread recipes we're learning lately. It's pretty cool. Um, talking about bread, we do need to make some bread for Sebastian. And we've also got a whole big load of stuff to take down to my other my other uh, my other bit. My other place. Where's Momo. There you are. So that's the first thing I'm going to do is just do a little bit of inventory management down over here. Take all of the food and we're going to put it in all into the different fridges. At the moment I'm just going to have it like fruit, nut, fish, herbs, dairy products. Most of these fridges will probably be fruit fridges. I'm not going to lie. So anything like grapefruits, dates, pomegranates, pears, sugar apples, that all needs to go in there. And what I'll probably do is later on, I'll probably go and sort the fruit fridges out into maybe, I might do like um, berries and this and that and the other and blah, blah, blah. I, I don't know. Um, we should probably have one that's... I think I'll have one that's veg and one that's salad, maybe. So veg. And then we'll have one that's salad. And then things like tomatoes and stuff can go in there. So the black beets could probably go into the veg chest. And I know that I probably don't need to do this as much, but... Oh, and I'm going to need one for like ground stuff like flour and sugar flour sugar etc <laughs> I just call it flour and sugar can we have an and sign and if I find something else that needs to go in the flour and sugar one, something else that's ground up, then I, I will will do that. So herbs and honey, probably all the spices and things will go in there as well. Flour and sugar, dairy, nuts, I need the nut fridge. I have an entire fridge for nuts. How funny is that? Flour into the flour fridge. Should go into the flour fridge. Potatoes into the veg one. Got a couple of cookies there, which will probably go back home with me, honestly. Right, let's get the crates out, shall we? Don't worry, they won't be there permanently. take some time. This is why I'm doing this first because honestly once this is done I can kind of relax about uh, about things being put in the right places and stuff. I always know where all the nuts are gonna be, I always know where all the fruit is gonna be. La di la di la. I mean, I, I'm taking it cinnamon and cinnamon sticks and uh, cloves are going to count as a herb. They're a spice really, Her uh, but herbs and honey and spices is a bit much. So I'm just going to understand that herbs and spices go in together. All these little things as well. Chamomile could probably go in there too, unless I want a different one for flowers. But I don't have a lot of them at the moment, so... Should be okay. Got uh, sa salad there. More salad. I'm gonna have a fridge for berries actually, I've decided. I may as well do that straight up. And then I'll move the blueberries into it in a minute. So 
those of you, there's going to be some of you that find this utterly boring. There's going to be some of you that are just there like, oh! <laughs> she's, she's tidying it all up. It's going to be so good. Some of you will be like that. So there, all the fruit. I'm sure I will put something in the nut fridge that is actually a legume and I will <laughs> probably mess this all up. But uh, as long as I've got a vague idea of what things are. Sorrel, are you a... I'm gonna say that's a herb. That should be in the herb fridge. It's probably the most appropriate place for it, to be honest. The blueberry should be in the berry fridge. That's probably a second fruit fridge. I've no doubt about that. I've also got blackberries that will need to be moved to the berry fridge as well. Fruit fridge. Nut fridge. I've still got fridges full of stuff to transfer as well. I might need more than one nut fridge. We done with that one? Yeah, cool. Up it comes. Will I put cherries in with the berries? I kind of think I should. I kind of think that would be a good place for them to go, honestly. I know they're kind of technically not, but they, they, I don't know. I just think they look nice in there, okay? <laughs> this is the most sense any of my storage has made. The whole blinking sees the whole blinking playthrough, so... No complaining. Okay. I'm getting a lot of fruit in here. That's amazing. Although I am aware I still have three fridges worth of stuff to get through. I might bring my still and my beer barrel that thing down here as well. I think it kind of does make sense to be down here. Here's my three fridges from my house. I might sell that other fridge. It doesn't go with anything. And just buy another, like, white fridge for the house. I prefer the way they look. Oh yes, I need a fish fridge, don't I? Once uh, my fr my fish have their own fridge, I think uh, we'll be good then. Okay, flour and sugar. I think you are the fish fridge then. I'm gonna take all the fish out and we'll put the berries uh, back into my inventory. This is kind of therapeutic. Not going to lie. Okay, herb fridge. I do need to do something with all this cinnamon. I need to make a, like a cinnamon cake or something. Not that we'll be getting any more anytime soon. Dairy for that soy milk. I'll put sugar beet into the flour and sugar one because that's how you make sugar, right? And hopefully we'll have lots of flour and sugar in there eventually. That is, that's kind of the idea. This will be like full of butter and, uh, and milk and all that sort of thing. Okay, nuts. Some of these nuts are probably going to need to go and get made into milk. Oh, that sugar shouldn't be in there. Okay. Mustard plant, that should be in herbs. And then I'll know where to look for things for seeds as well. I feel like the sunflowers should be... So this should have oils in it as well, I think. Peppercorns should definitely be in with herbs. I imagine you grind that down to get pepper. 
Onions should definitely be in veg. It just shows me how much I've got of certain things and how little of others. Berries. By dividing them into fruit and berries is actually being quite helpful. Uh, fruit. Fig and plum. Spinach. Uh, ooh, rhubarb. What do you count as? I'm going to put you in with fruit. Might not be quite right, but like categorization wise, but uh, so what I'm gonna do with it put spinips into veg, and we're pretty good, I think. Okay, let's get another inventory full. <laughs> it's only 946, that's not as bad as I thought it would be. I thought this would take absolutely forever and I would not even be able to get down to Wahoo Beach to water, or oh, sorry, Spoonie Island to do the watering, but seems okay. That fridge is done. Let me know in the comments, is this boring or, or for, for just a one-off episode of just like pure organization, do you guys sometimes just like to see that? So barley would go in with the flour and sugar and... Rice would probably go in there too. All the rice, the sunflowers, the sugar, all that stuff. I, that's the idea of that fridge anyway. Fish fridge. Might be worth bringing the still and also the um mm. i think for cooking you might need a couple of processor sheds just to do like the bulk stuff that i'm trying to do it's just an absolute nightmare otherwise i put the things like ketchup and soy sauce and that in probably in the herb fridge it just needs to make the most sense there avocado fruit or veggie you're technically a pear so i'm gonna say fruit <laughs> could be wrong though Many, many, many more blueberries and cherries. The cookie there, that's a, a cooked item, so that's staying in my inventory for now. Eggs, I'm putting in with dairy. Just seems to make the most sense. So I think for honey here. There'll be a lot more honey somewhere else, no doubt. Put the soy sauce in there too. Um, I need the nut fridge. These guys. And this is probably as separated as it needs to be for now, but eventually probably more so. That disaster dish kind of needs to just go away somewhere. I need to sell it or something. I know we can make fertilizer out of it. But it's not like I'm short on poop, is it? Going through these fridges, oh my goodness, there's so much stuff. Okay, Jorian and guava and all that stuff, that's probably an avocado. It's gonna go in there, star fruit, Jorian. Avocado. Doesn't that look so pretty now? That's an, an overflow fruit one, so I would take I would just take a certain type of fruit out probably, and do it that way. And let's go put all the cinnamon away. That was so much cinnamon. And the nuts. And now I know where to put things as I go. It's going to be so much easier. A random thing of cloves from somewhere. Flour and sugar, we'll put the barley into there for now. Then I know how much I've got of things that can be ground down. 
because I'll be in that fridge and it will be labelled for once in my life. It will all be labelled too. I'm going to put the ketchup in there and the sweet spices. I might need an alcohol fridge, but we'll see We'll see how it goes, honestly. I've got two more fridges to, to clean out now. Actually, that one. No, not this. This one first. If I get the whole fridge cleaned out, which I don't think I'll be able to do, I might be just a little bit short on it. Oh, maybe, maybe not. No. Just go put the pears away. And then I'll just get rid of the rest of that fridge. And then, as I say, these will just be for all of my, like, finished meals and things. And I've got room for more fridges along the back there if I want, if there's a particular thing I want a fridge for there. Get this out. Alright, so that's all completely nicely emptied. Look at this one. More cinnamon and more nuts. I'll just organise it so it's all together. How much cinnamon do you need? Lots, if you're a Sheila, apparently. We do have quite a bit of wheat as well, which isn't too bad. I've got about 400 bits of wheat. Um, actually, organising my inventory would be good here as well. Let's go for veg. I'll probably just put the kidney beans in with the veg. I don't know if carrot counts as a salad or not. Not that I feel like I actually really need to have them separated. I don't have a ton of veg. That will change though. Sugar beet goes in flour and sugar. And I'll probably, probably the fact that I've got all of these in the same fridges and they know where they're all meant to go probably is helping with things stacking as well I would imagine I have so many cookies fruit there oh we threw this one okay I'm gonna take the lemons out and put them in the next fruit fridge over And I'll just need to look and see where I'm putting things in the future. That'll leave me room for things like the mandarin. There we are. Lovely. I don't know how I only have six apricots. I wonder if they're somewhere else. Hiding in this fridge, maybe. Interesting. All right, let's get these gone. Um, I'm gonna probably put mushrooms in with, I know they're fungus, but they'll probably just go in with the veg somewhere. This is definitely where I seem to have kept a lot of my random stuff. Coffee. Oh, coffee might go in with the rice and the sugar and, and all that sort of stuff. Okay, so we've got a lot of herbs here. So cumin, curry, dill. And I keep a lot of lots of little tiny bits of these things so that I can plant them if need be later. I don't know what capers are. I don't know what they are and what they count of. So they're going going in with herbs. They I'm they're probably in the wrong place. Salt will go in with flour and sugar because that's just anything ground is going in here basically. Eggs with dairy, butter with dairy. Wasabi in herbs and honey, camellia, oregano, basil, 
scallops in the seafood one, in the fish chest. Okay, we're nearly at midday now, but we're, it was so close to being done. Let's get these mushrooms gone. Zucchini, spinach, and then I've got some rice to put in the flour one. And we will never be disorganized again. I have so many cookies. I have a fridge at home full of cookies. So basically one of these fridges, I'm going to put the, the fries and the funnel cake and stuff back into that fridge. Um, oh, I've still got a load of stuff in the centre there as well. Oh my goodness me. I hope I've checked these fridges properly. I might put them back down and just double check them in a minute. So flour and sugar, we'll put all the coffee in there that needs to be ground. Put all the corn into the veg chest. Even though I might want to grind it, I might also want to just use it for cooking. So, cauliflower, carrot. Once I know a bit more what I've got, I'll be able to make decisions on what I need to plant as well for the... That is not the right place to put that one. What I'll need to plant for the... Uh, shipping quota. Why can I never remember the word shipping quota? It's kind of weird at this point. Okay, that milk needs to go into dairy there. Quite a bit of soy milk there, which is really cool. Oil, I want that to go into the flour and sugar because we're going to put oil in there as well. I've just decided oil and coffee goes in there too. Apples will go in with fruit. Berries will go in with berries. Coconut will go in with fruit. Mushrooms. Okay, I think I can take more out now. crazy. Then I need to go to Spoonie Island. Okay, there's a few things left in that fridge. But generally, we're pretty good. Did have some turnips. Not many, though. So you can see the things that I kind of need to catch up on. It's mostly vegetables. I have one watermelon. <laughs> Where did that come from? And eight kiwis. Take seven days to grow. So I think that's something I would have to grow for myself down in Spoonie Island or something. And I'm not really too interested in doing that. Eggplant, okay, that's another one. Interesting veggie. Kale. Is any ever going to ask me for crops? And I'm going to place these fridges back down. want to check them. Uh, the boxes aren't too bad but uh, the these fridges could easily be hiding something so I just want to make absolutely certain that we are not hiding anything in any of these fridges. Ha <laughs> ha! I had a feeling. When I missed that bit in the middle of the other fridge I was like mm, what else am I missing? So lemon, I've got my own like lemon fridge basically here. I, I thought I had more lemons than that. Okay, and then a 
have some practices in there. Figs over in the fruit one. Blueberries in the berry one. All my grains. Still got like pears and pistachios and all sorts. Opened the wrong fridge there, I almost started undoing all the good work I've done. Okay, that fridge is 100% empty now. That fridge has a couple of things in it. Okay, let's put away the figs and the mandarins again. Oh, the apricots. That's where they all went. I thought I had more of those. Okay. I'm going to take grapefruit back out. I'll put that in with the lemons. I think I'm going to have a lot of grapefruit in the end as well. So We can have an entire fridge full of yellow fruit. <laughs> put little bananas in there too. <laughs> You laugh, but I'm going to put the star fruit in there. <laughs> and the banapples. And my yellow fruit fridge. I won't forget, will I? I won't forget that. It's all coloured yellow. Okay, and this is my multicoloured fridge with a random bit of rhubarb in it. Lovely. So this fridge has a couple of things in it, a couple of cookies in that. Okay, and then up it comes. All empty. So I just need to have a good look through and just make sure that everything that I want to be in a fridge down here is in a fridge down here. Um, so I want the sweet herbs in there. I want those pistachios to be in with the nuts. I want the vanilla to be in with the herbs and honey. And I want the raspberries to be in with the berries. The pears to be in with the non-yellow fruit. Potatoes to be in there a little bit. I've got some honey there that needs to be in its own little place. And... There we are. Oh no, one more, one more thing. Sugar. Uh, soy milk. Let's just look through. Make sure that everything that is in here is like a cookie or a cooked food or something like that, or, or alcohol. Which it seems to be. I think I'm done. Okay, so I can go put my fridges back down. I think I will probably only need the two fridges at this point. I'm going to sell that brown fridge. I don't like it. I don't think it looks very nice. Probably sell for a good amount, though. It's 400's worth. Okay, Momo, next thing we're going to do... Oh, it's clean up your poo over, over there. We're going to go down to Wahoo Beach. And then I'm going to look through those fridges with a view to finding any bits of my... Um, anything I've got like 70 odd for my shipping quota. But I don't think I'm going to be able to. I think that's going to be something I'm going to have to like try and do. So maybe we could go and see Sebastian. Oh, I didn't make cheese. No one reminded me to make any cheese. That was one of my other things I wanted to do today because Sebastian has not had presents for ages because I didn't have cheese. Such a simple thing as well. So now what I can do is go to the dairy fridge where I know I've put all my milk. 
get some soy milk out. And then take it over here to my processor shed. Make it into cheese. Ah, oh, we've got 50 vegan cheese already. Yay! May as well make some more though. May as well also make macadamia. Oh, is it macadamia butter and soy milk? Yeah, okay. I've still got some things here to, to sort out, but I'm not going to do them all at once because it will be a nightmare. And I'm already running out of time. I'll make some butter and things and I'll um, I'll see if soy can be done over the winter. I think soy and, sh and sugar cane, uh, sugar beet, sorry, can be done over the winter. Uh, okay. So I've got the cheese for Sebastian, which is all I wanted to do. Lost my horse. So, okay, we're at two o'clock, which isn't too awful, actually. Um, so now I just need to go down to Spoonie Island and check on my trees. I do think I try and do things in like an order of importance. Um, so now, because I've taken so much time sorting inventory out, it needed doing though. Do you feel so proud of me <laughs> for doing that? So now, when I put things away, I'm going to know where to put them away, and also I'm going to have um, these three boxes. And what I might do is every so often I'll just go dump all the fruits and things from my harvests from those boxes just into the fridges. I think they'll work really well. Okay, let's have a look. Those poor dragon fruit trees, I can't even see them. Yeah, my whole thing needs watering today. I don't know how much of this I'm going to have to do. Hopefully not too much. And as I say, it's still a bit of a false science. And there's every chance I may have to do this the whole way through the winter. And if I do, I do. And I would then advise you guys not to do the same thing. But at least the rest of them got finished by the end of autumn. But you never know, this might be the last day I have to water these. I can't remember exactly when I finished planting it, but I think it was something like the 20, 25th, 26th, something like that. No, maybe even earlier than that, actually. But I think I had calculated that it would probably dip over into winter a little bit before they would finish growing, so I'm still hopeful. But if it gets to something like the 7th or 8th and they're still not done, then I'm going to be like, uh, yeah. problems. The other nice thing about a meteorite watering can is it barely uses any stamina. holds lots of water, barely uses any stamina. So even for trees, it's better. Because you might say, oh, why would you bother using that for trees? The other thing is because it has such a large surface area that it's watering, you don't have to get as close to the tree, and which is kind of ideal when they're really big and annoying. And you can't see what you're doing. I've done worse watering jobs in this in this YouTube career of being a virtual farmer. <laughs> I have done worse. I'm 
Okay, so, all done. Inventory's all sorted. I've got cheese for Sebastian's sandwiches. Um, the next time, I need three raw aluminium for Julian in four days. And then I'll need salt, plum wine. Yeah, I'll probably bring a few things down. I'll probably start going through these um, potato soup, crystals, turnips for Jim. Like, Jim only wanted three turnips, poor dude. But yeah, I, I, I need to go back to Pumpkin Vale. And then I need to take an inventory of what I can and can't do for my uh, shipping quota. So that's my next job. And then we'll make Sebastian his sandwiches. And then I'll feel fairly in control of my life. I actually feel a lot, a lot more in control because of the way I've organised my stuff now. I'll need to go back to the kitchen and make sure that I can still make like cakes and things and make sure that there aren't like limits on the number of fridges you can have or something. I don't see why there would be, but... Okay, so let's have a little look at the shipping quota. So it's turnip, soybean, kale, potato, milk, butter. Right, let's have a look. I've used all my soybeans. I do have enough potatoes. We'll just do like 75. Um, I don't have enough kale. I don't have enough milk or butter. I don't have enough turnips. And I don't have enough soybean. Okay, so potato is the only one I can do. So turnip, soybean, kale need to be planted. And then milk and butter need to be looked into, I guess. That's the one thing I didn't manage to do today, was to head over to Alex's and see if she had a full-grown cow today. Which is a shame. But I think we'll head back to Sebastian's and I'll make his sandwiches and then we'll go. We'll just go from there. I'm going to try and keep giving him gifts to see if I can get him up to 12 hearts. Even if I can't see the 12 hearts, maybe it's a hidden thing. He's talking about 12 hearts and then I don't know what's going on. You know, it's very confusing. Feed my animals as well. need to get better at actually milking the cows too. <laughs> it's no good if they if you don't milk them. I think I milked them yesterday, so... Because I do, I've got three cows that should be giving me... Well, two of them gives me two milk a day. And one gives me one milk a day at least. So... Over 30, over 28 days, you should be getting like a good 80 milk. Think. No, 28 days you should be getting 40 milk, 50, 6 milk, plus another 28, 56, yes you should be close to 80. I should be able to do it with the cows I have, but it gives me more flexibility if I have more cows. So that's what I'll be looking at tomorrow. Um, let's make some, let's see what we can do here. Can we make dough still? Yep, we can. Let me make uh, ten dough so we can make some bread. We we'll use that to mince straight away make bread. Do the sandwiches need do they need bread or dough? I think they need bread, so let's make that straight into bread. Ten bread. So we've got cooked bread, we should have some vegan cheese, so that should be enough for me to make the sandwiches I need. One 
wonderful. Just be able to make ten of those. Chop fry sandwiches made. Grilled veggie sandwiches. They're not actually worth a huge amount. They're worth 50 each. But for the ingredients that go into them, I suppose that's not too bad. Um... I don't really know what else I want to make right now. Black bean corn salad. Now all of a sudden that that's available to make. Well. Ah. I just worked out what the black turnip thingies were. The black beets are half black beans, half beetroot. Okay. I don't think I need to make anything else right now, this second. The other thing that I can quickly do... Put the grey fridges back down. Place them back down. Okay, and then I'm just going to open them up and pop all of the... Stuff like vegan cheese needs to go in the other one, but the, the cookies and cakes and cooked foods all need to go in the fridge there. And then I'm going to have an alcohol fridge. <laughs> Don't ask me why, I just am. Keeping my pancakes on me. Oh, typical. Oh, yeah, two potatoes are for selling. I need to put the vegan cheese back. Yeah, we're doing good now. Starting to get more organised. Let's see what seeds I have hanging around. So I need a turnip. Don't have any turnip. And I also need, I don't need potato, it's the only thing I need, I need, I need kale. Do I have kale? But yeah, I have turnip, but I only got 16 of them, so I need more. Turnip, kale. Don't think I have kale. Soy. This is where I don't even have soy. This is where I was careless with my soybeans. I'm not seeing soy, but it could just be me. Okay, I'm going to go to sleep. So I've at least got some turnip seeds. Uh, so we're going to be reliant, quite reliant on Sebastian, I think. So I'm going to go to sleep now. I'm going to end the episode there. And then tomorrow we'll see about the shipping quota and I'll just I'll plant in some um, six, some meteorite sized fields and that should be enough to cover it. So there we are. Good night everybody. Have sweet dreams. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more pumpkin days please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. So I hope to see you next time. In the meantime please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.